so I'm the CTO and co-founder of Sensible. We've been in business for just around three years right now. And uh, we're going to demo something that we actually demoed at Money 2020, which is uh, one of the largest payments conference in the world. We demoed it with uh, RBC uh, at, um, at the conference. And uh, so what Sensible is, is we have a uh, white label API service that allows banks to offer receipt management services to their customers. So if you've ever been searching for that receipt, uh, once our service is rolled out, you'll be able to find that alongside of your other transactions uh, at your bank. So the best way of demoing this is through a, uh, uh, let's get that iPhone connected and we'll show you how this works. So uh, this is RBC's mobile banking application. And so we are not a direct to consumer company. Uh, our, uh, our customers will roll out this, uh, this service to the banks. So we're gonna start off with going to our bank account. Um, and you can see this is our, our account. So this is you know, RBC's bank, uh, banking uh, application. Now if we tap on the account uh, history, uh, so a lot of us go to these pages and uh, often we forget uh, what these purchases are, uh, which leads us to call in to, uh, to the, the, uh, the sports center. Uh, now what we can do is we can actually tap on one of these transactions and what we can see is this was a transaction from ESO for gas. Uh, what we do is uh, we actually allow customers to take pictures with the mobile banking app of their receipt. So this is the paper receipt. Uh, through a, a combination of OCR and machine learning, we're able to extract all the data from the receipt and then structure it and, and be able to present it back to the customer in a much more user-friendly way. So what you can see here is we've captured the date and the time. We've captured the, uh, the tender, you know, uh, we paid with a, a credit card, and al also right down to the line item information. And this is really important because it serves a lot of use cases for the banks in terms of getting a better uh, pulse on consumer spend. So that's w use case number one is transaction matching. Let's go back to uh, look at the other use case. Uh, so uh, a lot of the banks right now are uh, working on mobile banking wallets. And uh, so, you know, a lot of the talk around wallets is the mobile payment. Uh, I personally don't find the mobile payment very interesting. Uh, we can all use our credit cards to uh, make a payment very easily. But there's a lot of other interesting things that add value to the wallet. Things like gift cards, special offers, and of course receipts. So let's forget about that George Costanza wallet. And just like your shoebox, this is a place where you can store all your receipts, whether it's cash, credit, debit, transactions, all in one place. So let's just tap on another one of these receipts here. Let's go to, let's say the Macy's receipt. We can tap on that. Again, same thing. We're able to take a, a paper receipt uh, and uh, through our machine learning algorithms, we can extract all that data. So we have all the, the, pay the payment information. We can even look at merchant, uh, tap on the merchant info tab and uh, get directions, call the store, and, and all this data comes from the receipt. So next question is, you know, how do we do this? And there's a number of channels to get the, uh, the receipt data into our system. Uh, the number one is, uh, you know, good old fashioned paper receipt. So let's uh, quickly demonstrate the capture process. And this is our mobile SDK that we've developed. So the banks can just drop it into their applications and within a week they can get started using our service. Uh, so this shows the automatic capture. We automatically grab the image uh, and crop it. Uh, we're gonna hit done. And we can select what type of expense it is, business. Uh, we can go into notes and add things. We can add folders, and that allows us to categorize our, you know, if we're using this for, say, expenses, we can categorize our expenses and uh, tap on, thank you, yeah. Uh, and then we can view the receipts. And this all happens in real time. We're able to uh, right away process the information on the receipt. Now, if we go over the, the, the paper receipt, what you can see is it says CS4, 418 inch, which is often a very cryptic description on a receipt. What we're able to do, especially with you know, some of the top merchants, is because we have knowledge of the SKUs on the receipts, and if we go back to the enhanced view, we can actually see that that was actually a chainsaw. And uh, we even have the picture of the chainsaw, and we're able to enhance all that information uh, on the receipt. So it looks like our, our time is up, but uh, just uh, wanna just very quickly tell you where we're going. Uh, we're working with all of the major banks in Canada, and we're, we're starting to talk to US banks and banks in the UK as well. Uh, launches are coming up over the next few months. Uh, so I'm not gonna tell you who, but you'll see very soon, uh, you'll just be pushed an app and you'll be uh, given this uh, receipts capability. Uh, so uh, the other thing I wanna announce is that 
Uh, we are looking for beta users, and secondly, we are hiring right now, so if you are a back-end developer that's interested in machine learning and, and tackling some really exciting problems, or if you're a mobile developer, please come talk to me or some of the team members which are sitting over there. You can put up your hands. Uh, and now I guess I have a few minutes for questions. Thank you. So the question was, do we plan to open our SDK for developers? So, so the answer is yes. I mean, we do have a, a, a dream of having a developer portal, self-service, put your credit card in, or you know, if you're uh, early stage, don't, and we'll give you free service for a while. Um, but right now, we are very much focused on the banks. Um, it's, it's quite a uh, long process to work with the, you know, the biggest banks in the world, like RBC. Uh, so we're really focused on that, but absolutely our intention is to open up our API and make it available to, uh, to other third parties. Do you have a Mechanical Turk backup when the receipts are really impossible to scan? So actually what we do is we, uh, we don't, and one of the reasons is because we work with banks, and banks have this, uh, there's uh, per personally identifiable data that's on the receipts. And so there's an expectation that our data does not not leave our networks. Uh, a lot of what we do is, is really more around the user experience to make sure that c consumers are able to edit the data but provide a great experience for editing the data if we're not able to ex extract the information. Yes? So the question is, was it difficult to connect with the banks? Do you mean from a business point of view or te technical? Yes, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Uh, luckily, my, uh, my co-founder, um, uh, Corey Gross, has a, you know, kind of an amazing network um, within the you know, financial um, community in Toronto, uh, and there's some great support in Toronto that we've been able to connect with all the right people in digital channels. The other thing is they all know each other, and kind of collectively amongst all the banks, we've, we've sort of, you know, there, there's this vision of this being a ubiquitous service, not one where we're going to have, you know, exclusive deals with one bank. So they actually introduce us to their colleagues slash competitors, and that gets us in the door at other places, too. Hey, Jamie. Same question, just with the technical explanation, the technical. Yeah. So, so actually, surprisingly, on a, a technology front, uh, much easier. So one thing to keep in mind is they're integrating with us. We are not integrating with their service. So um, because of, you know, uh, there's been a lot of, people that have blazed the trail in terms of API services and, and very standard ways of, you know, making your APIs restful and uh, connectivity um, like security and, and uh, authentication via OAuth. Um, these are, you know, a lot of areas where the banks are just moving into right now. Um, but, you know, place like fintechs like PayPal have really paved the way in terms of exposing their services. So it's, it's really uh, been very surprising. And for the, I mean, from the bank's perspective, Integrations in two weeks don't happen, and, and uh, we've been able to make it happen for a number of the banks. Uh, I just had a question. Is there a restriction on the receipt length? Because I don't know if anyone's had a really, really big shop. Uh, it's as long as your arm and the camera might not be able to take it. Is there, is there a restriction on that? There, there actually isn't. So we have a neat trick with that. We didn't have time to demo it, but there's actually support for long receipts. So and we automatically stitch together a series of uh, receipt images and then OCR the whole, the whole lot together. I, th I think that's it. Thanks, guys.